uh, between the ladies at Mr. Collins' request. Thank you. Certainly. I have um, copies. So what I'll do is I will read this aloud. We can vote to accept it. All right. The letter is dated August 28, 2014. This letter of censure is written for Mrs. Donna Green at the request of the Timberlane Regional School Board. At its July 16, 2014 meeting, the Timberlane Regional School Board voted to censure Mrs. Green, a Sandown representative on the board, because her actions have undermined the integrity and credibility of the Timberlane Regional School District and eroded the trust between the district and the community. Evidence for this censure is as follows. One, since her election to the Timberlane Regional School Board in March of 2014, Mrs. Green has made over 60 statements on her blog that are either taken out of context, misinformation, inaccurate, disrespectful, and or inappropriate. 20 of these statements are egregious. Below are the topics and dates of those 20, which are referenced in Appendix A. I will just cite the dates and the topics. A, April 8th, May 27th, and June 18th. The topic is communication information. B, April 11th, June 20th, June 29th, and July 13th, surplus health trust refund. April 18th, May 14th, June 11th, policy. May 14th, High School of the Year Award. May 20th, agenda. May 20th and July 7th, Town of Sandown. June 27th, SAU Board. July 4th, budget. Item number two, since being elected to the Timberlane Regional School Board, Mrs. Green has ignored requests to not email a quorum of the Timberlane Regional School Board about board business. This has been advised by the school district's attorneys in accordance with RSA 91A, the right to know law. On 10 different occasions, Mrs. Green has sent emails regarding board business to a quorum of the Timberlane Regional School Board and, in doing so, has compromised the district's efforts to be open and transparent with our constituents. The 10 emails were sent on the following dates, which are referenced in, in Appendix B, and I will give those dates. March 21st and 27th, April 7th and 18th, May 22nd and 23rd, June 18th, July 8th and 9th. The members of this board take very seriously our responsibility and obligation to provide information to our constituents that is correct and true. The false and inaccurate information that is being communicated by Mrs. Green is an affront to the very constituents she is supposed to serve. In addition to disseminating false and inaccurate information, Mrs. Green has publicly maligned the school district and its employees. She has knowingly done this without contrition and has made only the most minimal effort to understand the policies, procedures, laws, and educational environment of the district she oversees. With this letter, the Timberlane Regional School Board acknowledges and condemns these acts and statements made by Mrs. Green. She has never shown any remorse for her actions and does not appear to respect the decisions, opinions, and guidelines of this board. The board strongly declares to our constituents, our community, and the taxpayers within the four towns of the Timberlane District that we do not and will not stand by Mrs. Green's damaging actions. The integrity and credibility of our school district are of the utmost importance to this board. The trust we have with our communities is precious and needs to be protected and nurtured. The potential damage and the damage that has already resulted from Mrs. Green's actions has been articulated clearly before the board and is of great concern to all board members. Although Mrs. Green has stated that she does not respect board procedures, it is our hope that this process will move us forward together, rendering us stronger from this experience and repairing the damage that has been done. Mrs. Green's contrite acknowledgement of these violations 
would be a necessary first step toward that end. On behalf of the Timberlane Regional School Board, Nancy Steenson, Timberlane Regional School Board Chair. So I will need a motion to accept that letter. Motion. All right, Mr. Collins, is there a second? Mr. Bilo. Any questions or comments? Mrs. Green. Oh. Of course, you can expect me to have comments on this, and I'm going to rise to address the body. Um, I find it an affront to me that I was not given this letter in advance, considering how voluminous the information is here. Um, why was this kept secret from me? So, despite what this board claims, the real reason for my censure is that this board doesn't respect my right to express an opinion contrary to the consensus of this board. Mrs. Green, you're entitled to your opinions and you're Thank you. entitled and to Thank you, and I will floor. finish. Thank you. I have Mr. the Parker. floor. I and you have pardon. done everything in your power to suppress the concerns of my constituents for whom I speak. It is easier for you to call my opinions wrong than it is for you to address them honestly. It is easier for you to abdicate your responsibility for fiscal oversight and to pass every last shred of responsibility to a single administrator than it is to make the hard decisions on behalf of the taxpayers who put their trust in you. It's easier for you to denounce me than it is to examine yourselves. There is a fundamental irresponsibility that pervades this assembly. The people of Sandown know that it is unsustainable to keep increasing the budget while the enrollment plummets. My call for greater disclosure of information and better fiscal responsibility has spurred members of this body to think it's acceptable to write grotesquely unconstitutional school board rules specifically to silence me, to violate your own policy, to suppress my communication to this board, and to use public humiliation in the form of censure, as well as to issue unfounded no trespass orders, and to call upon friends in the police department to try to intimidate me. These are assaults on the people of Sandown. And it exposes this board's dangerous arrogance and maliciousness. I'm not going away, and I'm not changing my behavior. Because the people of Sandown need their voices heard. And as for your objection to me emailing a quorum of the board, I have asked Mr. Collins on numerous occasions to cite a specific RSA that states that it is an illegal act to communicate with a quorum. It is not. That is a perversion of the open meeting rule, and I know that very well. You are perverting that open meeting rule to suppress my communication with the entire board. I will gladly wear this censure as a badge of honor until you change. Thank you. Anything further? Okay. Sir. Yes, you may. I would just like to comment that <clears throat> as the other Sandown representative, um, you do not represent the entire town. Okay? Um, I have talked to plenty of constituents um, who don't agree with what you just said. So you do not speak for the entire town of Sandown. So I would appreciate it if you would refrain from saying that you are the representative and that the town, all right, is based on what you say. Thank you. I would like to respond to that. And you're absolutely correct. However, I was elected by an overwhelming majority Maybe, of the you voters. Please at least ask for the floor. That's how we do it here. Thank you. You're very welcome. May I have the floor? You may. Thank you. I was elected by an overwhelming majority of voters in Sandown. I was given 
a letter of support by the Sandown Selectmen, in addition to my colleagues on the Budget Committee. And this month, I received the honor of being Citizen of the Year of Sandown. How many more demonstrations do the people of Sandown have to make to convince this board that they support what I'm saying? Excuse me, they, they support what I'm saying. Thank it's you. pretty clear. Mr. Ward, I appreciate your comments. Thank you, Mrs. Green. We have a letter. It's something the board agrees on. We need to vote. We're not going to debate this all night. Everyone has stated how they feel. The letter states how the board feels. I'm going to call the question. Unless there's anything further that people would like to add, they feel would add to this discussion. All, right. all in favor of approving this letter of censure. Opposed? 